Hare Krishna. Hi everyone. Welcome. In this video, we are going to implement a Java program to sort elements in an array using bubble sort algorithm. Let us take an example of array having elements 7, 6, 4, 3. We need to sort the elements of array in ascending order or descending order using bubble sort algorithm. Bubble sort arranges the n number of array element by placing the biggest element on the proper position. Basically, bubble sort works on repeatedly comparing adjacent elements and swap them until they are not in intended order. Intended order is based on whether you are sorting in ascending order or in descending order. It is called a bubble sort algorithm because the movement of elements is just like a movement of air bubbles in a water. In this example, you can see in the first iteration, we compare 7 with 6 and as 7 is greater than 6, we need to swap the elements of the array. Then, then I incremented and we just compare the second element with the third element, 7 with a 4. Again, 7 is greater than 4. So again, we need to swap. And finally, we compare 7 with 3. So 7 is greater than 3. 7 needs to be swapped with 3. The biggest element in this first iteration is 7. 7 is moved to the end of the array. In the second pass, we again perform the same process. We take the first element that is 6, compare with the 4 second element. As 6 is greater than 4, we need to swap it. Again, we compare 6 with 3. 6 is greater than 3, swap it. Then we compare 6 with 7. 6 is not greater than 7, so we don't have to swap it here. So now 6 is placed to the right side of the array. So if you see, last two element is sorted in this array. In the third pass, again we compare 4 with the 3. 4 is greater than 3, we swap it. Next we compare 4 with the 6. 4 is not, not greater than 6, so we don't have to swap it. So the elements of the array is arranged in ascending order as 3, 4, 6, 7. Let us graphically see how the swapping of elements happen in case of bubble sort and how we compare the adjacent elements. So I'm taking an example of array here having the elements 2, 8, 5, 3, 9, 4, 1. In the past pass, we compare 2 with 8. 2 is not greater than 8, so we don't swap it here. And this process continues. Better I'll be silent for next 2 minutes. We can see how the swapping happens. The first pass, 9 is moved to the right side of the array. In the second pass, 8 is moved to the right side of the array in its proper position. In third pass, 5 is moved to the right side of the array in its proper position. Now 4 is moved to the, the sorted array on the right side. Finally, all the elements in this array are sorted as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. Let us practically implement this program using Java. First, we will add main method. We declare and initialize an array. int array equal to initialize with element 7, 6, 4, 3. We need two for loop to implement a bubble sort algorithm. First for loop to iterate through the array multiple times until the array is not sorted. Second for loop to compare adjacent elements by iterating through the array. Let us add a first for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than array dot length i plus plus. Now we will add a second for loop for j is equal to 0 j less than array dot length minus 1 j plus plus. Here we compare two adjacent elements of the array if array of j is greater than array of j plus 1. If the condition is satisfied then only we swap the elements of the array using temporary variable temp is equal to array of j. 
array of j is equal to array of j plus 1. Finally, the temp value we store it into array of j plus 1. Whenever we do the swapping within the array, we need to set the flag swap to true. First, we'll declare and initialize a flag boolean swapped is equal to false. This flag will help us to break the for loop in case the elements of array is already sorted. We need to add a condition if swapped is equal to equal to false that means the elements of the array is already sorted let's break the for loop finally we print the elements of the elements of array after sorting in a ascending order using bubble sort algorithm using arrays dot to string method let's run the program the elements of the array after sorting using bubble sort algorithm is 3467 now let us also add a print statement before sorting elements of the array using system dot .println. Let's rerun the program. Elements of the array before sorting is 7643. Elements of the array after sorting is 3467. The program is working fine as expected. Let us debug the program. You can see that the program control reached the line number 15 where we have the debug point added in the program. Initial value of i is 0. We enter into the first for loop. The second for loop, j will be initialized with the value 0. j is having the value 0. Array of 0, the element at array of 0 is 7. And array of j plus 1, the element at array of 1 is 6. 7 is greater than 6. Yes, the condition is satisfied. We swap the elements of the array and we set the swapped flag to true. You see that the elements of the array is swapped. Array of 0 is having the value 6 and array of 1 is having the value 7. Now the j is incremented by 1. j is having the value 1. Array of 1 is 7. Array of 2 is 4. 7 is greater than 4. The condition is satisfied. We again enter into the if condition and we swap the elements of the array. We can see that array of 1 is having the value 4 and array of 2 is having the value 7. J is incremented by 1 now. J is having the value 2. The element at array of 2 is 7 and element at array of 3 is 3. 7 is greater than 3. As yes, the condition is satisfied, we swap the elements of the array. We can see that array of 2 is having the value 3. Array of 3 is having the value 7. Finally, J is incremented by 1 now. J less than array dot length minus 1. The second for loop is terminated. In the if condition, we check whether swapped is equal to equal to false. No, swap is already set to true. So we don't break the for loop. Again, the i is incremented by 1 now. We reset the value of the swap to false. Now the j is re initialized the value 0. Array of 0, the value at index 0 is 6. Value at index 1 is 4. Is 6 is greater than 4. Yes, the if condition is satisfied. We enter into the if condition and we swap the elements of the array. The flag swap is set to true. And this process continues. Bubble sort arranges the n number of array element by placing the biggest element on the proper position or repeatedly comparing adjacent elements and swap them until they are not in intended order. Intended order is based on whether you are sorting in ascending order or in descending order. Finally, we print the elements of the array using array start two strings method. Array elements before sorting is 7643. Array elements after sorting is 3467. Thanks for watching.